Well, new this morning, the Senate deals a massive blow to a bill meant to bolster health care access for U.S. veterans exposed to toxic chemicals, leaving its future uncertain. Senate Republicans are blocking the legislation in the 11th hour, despite sending an earlier version to the House just months ago. The bill aims to expand coverage for post 9-11 combat veterans who breathed in fumes from burn pits. Now, it also aims to further address Agent Orange exposure and add more funding for the VA to research toxic exposure. Montana Senator John Tester heads the Veterans Affairs Committee and says his colleagues are putting politics over veterans health. The American people are sick and tired of the games that go on in this body. If you don't think young people are watching what we're doing today, that are thinking about signing up for the military, you're sadly mistaken. And when we don't take care of our veterans when they come home, they're going to say, why should I ever sign the dotted line? This is a sad day in the United States Senate. This is the biggest issue facing our veterans today. Make no mistake about it. If it wasn't, every veteran service organization wouldn't be out there talking to us and have been talking to me for the last 15 years. So we can make up all sorts of excuses about how this is going to move money around, but let me tell you something. We're the ones that decide that. If we want to move money around, we will. If we don't, we won't. In the meantime, let's pass this bill. Let's get veterans the health care they've earned. If it isn't, it's political malpractice. And according to the VA, approximately 66,000 Montana veterans could have been exposed to toxic substances during their service. Democrats will enter a motion to reconsider that bill. Montana Republican Senator Steve Daines voted no yesterday. A spokesperson for the senator told MTN, do the Democrats want to invest in veterans health care or spend hundreds of billions of dollars on their Green New Deal and raise taxes on all Americans? They can't have it all. The quote from Senator Dane's office may have something to do with this. West Virginia Democrat Senator John Manchin and Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer say they've reached a deal on health care, energy and tax legislation. They say the Senate will vote on the wide ranging measure next week, setting up President Joe Biden for an unexpected victory ahead of November's elections.